Kau Brajmandal, Parikrama. We have come to this place. This is Lakshman Jula, Ram Jula, and this is not different from Adi Bhatri. This is within the 84 courses, 168 miles of Brajmandal. And this place is non different from Bhatri Kastam, Ganga Tree, Yaman Tree, all these places. See these hills, these are the Himalayas. Non different. Should not, should not consider. Actually, because Braj Mandal is the topmost dham. It is non different from Shraddha It is Golok Vrindavan. It is the highest, most superior dham. Therefore, actually, all the Himalayas, all the Ganga Tree, Yamuna Tree, Patri Kasham, you find there in the Himalayas, they actually just manifestations of this place. This is actually the original dham. And everything is manifested from here. This is the higher tattva, and from the higher tattva, the other dhams they expand. So, this is actually the original place. And where we, in the beginning, we went down there, there was Yogamaya Darshan. The Yogamaya Temple. We are performing Katyani Vrat. Therefore, Yogamaya Purnamasi Devi, she is guiding and giving blessings to the Braj Gopis so that they can attain their perfection. They can fulfill all of their inner heart desires. What is their desire? Patting me, Purute Nama. May I develop a deep loving relationship with Radha and Krishna. That is our prayer. So, there is. Um, next to there we went to Taptakun and Badrikasam. There is Lakshmi Narayan and there is Taptakun. Taptakun means like Kun where one performs austerities. We know that in previous in Dwapar there was a demon in him of Prabha, Sahasra Kavach. And he had a thousand Kundal earrings, thousand Kavachas, like armor, protection armor. And he was creating so much havoc in disturbance that Nara Narayan Rishi, that is, is it Krishna and Arjuna, Nara Narayan. They came and they challenged this demon. The demon, his armor is such that only by a thousand years of austerities can he destroy one of his kavachas, one of his kundals. So what, so what Narayana and Rishi they did, they came to this, Braj, to this Rajmandal, this place. And here, one austerity is equal to a thousand years of austerities. So by performing one year of austerity, they got the fruit of a thousand. And then every year, they are able to destroy one Kavach. In other words, how? Nara, Nara, Arjun, he would fight with the demon. And then Narayan, he would perform austerities. Then uh, fighting for one year, one year. Then, Nara, then Narayan would sit, fight with the demon. Then Nara would sit down and do austerities. They would take turns. And this way, one by one, they destroyed 999 of his Kavachas. When that demon only had one Kavach left, he said, oh my God, they are going to destroy me. And he flew, flew from this place and took shelter of the sun god. And the sun god gave shelter the, to that demon. So later in end of Dwapar Yug, then we know that when Kunti she received the mantra from Durvasa Rishi, because she served him so nicely, she got this mantra that whatever whoever she remembers, that personality will manifest. So she was that time she was of a teenage and she became very curious. Oh, is this mantra real or not? Or is this some imagination? And she chanted the mantra and she she meditated on the sun god. That time Surya Devata himself appeared and he was brilliant like the sun. She became very, very shy and she said, no, no, I did not call you. I was only trying, I was only testing. I didn't know if this would work. She said, no, brother, you have called me. I will, my coming will not go in vain. I will give you a boon, benediction. And he gave her the son, Karna. Who was that son, Karna? It was that demon, Prabhal. Therefore, Karna was born with the Kavach Kundal. Therefore, as long as he had that Kavach Kundal, he could not be destroyed in the Mahabharata war. And Kunti, she was, uh, this, she was so afraid, so ashamed that, oh, I am not married yet, I am still a virgin girl, young age. Then what to do? She put that baby Karna in, a, in some foliage and left it down in the Ganga Yamuna. And then later then the Charitya, they picked it up and raised him as Radhya. And he became famous as Karna. And later we know Indra himself came and begged Biksha of Karna. I want your Kavacha Kundal. And then Karna, he is Danvir. He is known as very famous for giving charity. And he cut the kundal and kavach off his body. And he was bleeding so much, he gave it. The Hindu was so pleased. Oh, you know, this is the only thing that will save you from death. And still you gave this kavach kundal to me. Here, take my weapon, shakti. But you can only use it once. Shakti is such a weapon, whoever you shoot it at, that person will die. So he was saving him for Arjuna. But then later we know that when Gatugash, the son of Bhima, was destroying the, the, the core of the army, then Duryodhana requested Karna, do something, defeat this demon. Then Karna was forced to use that Shakti on Gatukash and Gatukash died there in the Mahabharata world. 
So there, but actually here, this Braj Mandal in, in Badrik Ashram, one year is equal to a thousand. But here in, in Vrindavan Dham, one year of state is not equal to a thousand, it's equal to unlimited years. Millions and millions of years. You want to know the real glory of Vrindavan Dham, Navadit Dhanavit, Namahap, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Navadit Mahatma. They are saying one one step is equal to 40, 10 million Ashramari Yagyas in the Dham. You simply lay down on the ground, it's equal to Dhanavat. You sleeping in the Dham, is equal to Samadhi. Did you eat? Eat even a fish and unprohibited items in the dharma equal to eating habishanna. There are no oh. end to the glories of the dharma. So any little austerity you do here, it is untold benefit. You cannot calculate the benefit coming to this place. It's the place where Guru Pada Padma, all Vaishnavas, they have come here. This is their, pl their place is saturated with their food dust. Krishna with all the Brajbhasis, Krishna with all the Brajbhasis here manifested this dharma. Lakshman Jula, Ram Jula, Gomu. Saptadala Rishi, Dev Saruvar, all the uh, Nara, there's four or five mountains here. Nara mountain, Narayan mountain, Ganesh mountain, all these mountains here, these all present here. These are all our Guru Vargas come here taking darshan. So by coming here, the benefit you achieve is incalculable. Behind us is Dev Saruvar. This is like, as you proceed higher and higher, you're going more and closer and closer to Swarga. Now when the Pandavas, it was time for them to go back to Aprakit Dham, then they started walking. Walking, walking, they were going towards Swarga. Then first on the journey, Jopati, she fell down and died. Then they asked Yudhishthira, oh, why did she give up her life? Then said, oh, because even though she was married to five husbands, she secretly she desired a sixth one, that is Karna. So therefore she was left first. Then walking some time, then Nakul fell down and died. Now Sahadev fell down and died. Then they asked uh, Yudhishthira, oh, why did Sahadev leave his body? Because he was so proud that I am the most wise. Then they walked a little bit further, then Nakul he fell down and left his body. Then they asked, oh, why did Nakul have to leave his body? Why did he not make it? Because he had this pride that I'm the most beautiful. Walking, walking, sometimes then Arjun fell down, he also left his body. Then Bhima asked, why Arjuna? Because he had the pride, I'm the greatest archer, no one is good as me. Then walking, walking, then Bhima also he fell, he left his body. Then Yudhishthira Maharaj, he was alone and there was one dog with him, he turned the dog. You know why Bhima fell down? Because even though when we're eating, we're sharing half the food, he's taking half the food, we're sharing with our brother. But secretly inside his design, I should also eat that half that they are having. <laughs> Therefore, he also gave up his life. And when he came to the came to the gates of Swarga, they were going, the gatekeeper said, you can come in, but this dog cannot come in. Then Yuri said, no, we have started the journey together. Therefore, if he cannot come, then I will also not go inside. And that dog manifested himself as Yamaraj himself. He said, really you are the embodiment of Dharma. You have equal vision to all. You have equal you have equal mercy to everybody. Therefore, come. And then he said that, but do you want to come first to Swarga or you want to go to hell? There is two options. First, you have because for some fault, you'll have to visit hell for a short time. Do you want to receive the the fruits of your sins or you want to receive the fruits of your benefits? So I go to I want to go to um, hell first. And then he saw all his brothers who there are suffering so much. And then he said, no, take me away, take me away from this place. Then he went, came to Swarga, he saw Duryodhana and Karna, all the Kauravas there enjoying. And he said, oh, we did so, they did so many wrong things. Why are they enjoying in hell? I mean, heaven and why are my brothers are suffering in hell? So don't worry, your brothers and everyone, they only went, they're only taking darshan of hell for one second. They are put, now they're coming back to Swarga. But Karna and these guys, they're part of the Kauravas. They are enjoying in heaven for some piety they may have done. But very soon their piety is finished and Yamaraj is waiting for them in hell. They are going to spend a very long time there, so don't worry. And in this way, the Pandavas then they entered. Where? To Swarga there, Bhagavan is in the form of Upendra. Ultimately from there, of course, they are eternal parikas of Krishna. Then they went to eternal Dwarka Dham, 